And China is expected to join the European Union's new infrastructure fund. It's hoped that a deal will be clinched during Chinese Premier Li Keqiang's visit to Brussels. And China's participation in the fund will help create opportunities for China to invest in the EU, in particular in the infrastructure and innovation sectors. The Jing Tiao takes a look at the fund and a possible role of China. Checkbook diplomacy or win-win cooperation. For many in the Western media, China's participation in Europe's new infrastructure fund has become a major focus of their coverage leading up to the Chinese Premier's tour of Brussels. On Thursday, EU legislators gave the go-ahead to the European Fund for Strategic Investments. We want to foster a better investment climate in Europe. The plan was proposed by European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker last year and aims to mobilize 315 billion euros to upgrade the bloc's infrastructure. It's also hoped the fund would jumpstart Europe's sluggish economies and ignite job growth. Presently, injecting public and private money in strategic projects is, is, the, is the best uh, thing to speed up Europe's economic recovery. But the project has faced skepticism from the very beginning, mainly because EU governments are putting in relatively little seed money, relying instead on private investors and development banks to fund the project. All this makes China's participation in the plan even more timely. According to Reuters, China will pledge a multi-billion dollar investment in the fund at a summit on June the 29th in Brussels, with the exact amount still to be decided. This pledge, if finalized, would not only be a welcome injection of cash into the newly established fund, but could also facilitate greater financial cooperation between China and Europe, marking a firm step in China's going out strategy, as it works to further internationalize the country's financial and investment market. China's involvement in the EU Infrastructure Fund comes after 18 European countries decided to participate in the China-led Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, with both projects set to provide enormous benefits for both continents. The investment by China will also provide a return for the country as it progresses with its One Belt, One Road initiatives, constructing major energy and communications links across Central, West and South Asia to destinations as far away as Greece. Jing Chao, CCTV.